Hey there, I am here Hi. to see Gal. Where's Gal? Perfect, she's gonna be right this way. Let's go. <clears throat> here we are, Gal, 73 questions. Hey! Let's How do it. How are you? Good Shalom. to see you. Thank Hello. you very much. How Good have to you see been? You. I'm so excited for this. Me too. It's great. Oh, man. I've been waiting for you. This is going to be good. You know, my first question, let's get it out of the way. Yes. How are you feeling right now? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I couldn't good. be better. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm catching you right before your Vogue cover style. I know. Lucky me. Lucky me. And besides that, what's an exciting thing going on in life right now? I'm shooting a new movie, Red Notice, with uh, Dwayne Johnson and Ryan Reynolds, and it's a lot of fun. It must be funny being with those guys. Yes. And is there anything missing in life right now? Are you kidding me? Look at us. No, everything is great. Pretty perfect. Now, how do you start most mornings when you're at home? I woke up, I wash my face and all that. Then I always drink a tablespoon of apple vinegar, water, and coffee mm -hmm. and work out. Okay. And how often are you getting back to Israel? As often as I can, but not enough. Not often enough. What do you miss most about Israel? My family and my friends. Well, I thought you missed these. That's why I brought them to oh, you. Oh, what? Where'd you get this? Yeah, oh my God, it's my Israeli way. chocolate. Thank right. you so much. I'll share. Make it feel at home like. a little bit right now. <laughs> All right, so Israel is up there in my places to go. What should I do when I go? One thing, what's the one thing? One thing you should do in Israel, you should go to Tel Aviv and go to a restaurant on the beach. There's so many and they're all great. And what's unique about Israeli culture? It's like one big melting pot, you know, with yeah. people from so many different, you know, places and different cultures and flavors. Mm -hmm. And when you go home, what food is waiting for you on the table? I love shukshuka on a Saturday morning. Just it's like, Saturday. it's delicious. It's <laughs> like tomatoes with garlic and eggs and feta cheese. It's delicious. Oh, that sounds so good. And what's the secret to fighting jet lag when you travel? Drink loads of water and I guess just be out in the sun. Vitamin D. How many languages can you speak? Two. Okay. And can you teach me some Hebrew? Sure. Uh, Let's do it. Can you say sababa? Sababa. Nice. Yeah, sababa is cool. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, my next question was, can you teach me a slang word? But I guess that may do it. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, say yalla. It's a really yalla. easy one. Yeah. yeah it's like in Hebrew and Arabic, it means let's go, let's do it. Okay. And what's a tongue twister in Hebrew that you can share with me? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Sala shala shir samach shir samach sala shala. Now you go. Shala sala shala. Almost. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Oh, they're ready for us. Do okay. you want to come do the fittings? Let's do the fittings. Let's go. Yalla. 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 <laughs> Gal, what's your favorite sport? Uh, basketball, dodgeball. I love dodgeball. Favorite board game? Definitely Rami Q. And what was your immediate reaction when you were approached about the role of Wonder Woman? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and as you know, it did pretty well in the box office, not too shabby. How did that I feel? I know. Oh my God, it was amazing, incredible. Now let me fan off for a second by saying that the trailer for Wonder Woman 1984 made me scream, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> what inside info can you tell me about that movie? Give me something good. You know I can't. You know I can't. You, you gotta, you gotta just wait a little bit longer before you go see the movie. Don't and disappoint me, gal. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> All right. So, what do you want audiences to take away from that film? First of all, I want them to just enjoy the movie mm -hmm. and maybe think about the narrative of the movie afterwards. Did immersing yourself in the 80s make you more or less nostalgic for the past? More. Everyone loves the 80s. Exactly, it's such a great decade. What traits does a character need to have in order for you to portray them? It's not so much about the traits as much as it's about the context. Mm. Yeah. And when do you know a part is perfect for you? When I love the script, I love the filmmaker, and I'm intrigued by the character. Okay, there's a bank heist. Yes. Who'll be your partner in crime? Who is it? My husband, definitely, Ron. Okay, there's good news or bad news. Who's the person you first call? Uh, my husband and my mother. Okay, what's the weirdest thing you've ever read about yourself? That I look like a broom. You do not look like a broom. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm here to validate the fact that I do not see you as a broom. <laughs> Thank you. What's the best book you've read recently? 
uh, All the Rivers by Dorit Rabinian. What's the song that you can't stop singing? If you don't want to see me. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. What's the best date night spa in L.A.? I can't tell you because then everyone will go there. Yeah, you have that effect on people, huh? Aww. Best movie to watch with your kids? Mary Poppins. Where do you go to get inspired? I love going to the museums. I know it sounds mm -hmm. old, but I love good exhibitions. Mm -hmm. I would go anywhere. What's the best vacation you've ever had? Ah, uh, the Maldives, the Maldives. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Ah, you should. Okay. Gorgeous ladies. Hello, how are you? Hi, welcome. Yeah. Angels. All right, Gal, All rapid right. fire. Yes. We got to get through this. Come on, yes. let's do it. Yes. Rapid Hit fire. Me. Give it to me. Give yes. it to me. Give it to me. Bold brow or bold lip? Uh, bold lip. Pedicure or manicure? Pedicure. Hepburn or Monroe? Hepburn. Favorite denim color? Blue. Favorite shade of lipstick? Red. Now slow down for this one. When do you feel most beautiful? When I'm rested. Mm. When do you feel most fulfilled? When I'm having, a, a, you know, just quality time with my kids. All right, so we have a lot of beautiful, beautiful wardrobe here. I know. This is so nice. And what are you drawn to in choosing a look? Uh, first of all, I want it to look stunning, but then also young and cool and comfortable mm. as much as it could be. What's a color that you gravitate to? Oh, so many. Blue, red, white, black, burgundy. I mean, all the colors are great. <laughs> and what's the most elaborate Wonder Woman <gasps> cosplay that you've seen? There's, There's a, a guy, I think he's in Brazil, mm. and his name is Wonder Bira. Check him out. I will. All right, got to ask you about your husband. Yes. What is this interview without asking about your husband? Hi, exactly. Love, How? love, love. <laughs> How did you and your husband meet? Uh, we met at a party at, uh, in the desert in Israel. Mm -hmm. And who liked who first? He would say I liked him first, but I'd rather say he likes me first. <laughs> Who's going to resolve that debate? I know, right? Yeah. Me. And what, was your <laughs> <laughs> and what was your first date? Uh, we went to a nice bar in Tel Aviv. Okay. And when did you know that you wanted to marry him? Uh, he actually told me on our second date that uh, he's going to propose in two years. And he did. How did you react to that? I was 21. I was pretty cool. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's crazy. But I guess both of us knew it was meant to be. That's really sweet. Now, when you're both on the same schedule, how do you like to spend your time together? Just be together. Um, you know, whether if it's just us and going out with just each other or mm. friends or just being home with great music and wine and food and mm. just that. That's nice. Simple. What would your husband say is your best quality? that I can be very silly. What would your kids say is your best quality? That and uh, maybe that I'm, uh, I'm very positive. Mm, you are. You Thank are. You. And motherhood. Yes. Look at that, motherhood. What was the most surprising part about becoming a mother? How much one can love and also how much I can do when being so exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> and what? Um, what's something that your kids do that really makes you laugh? Uh, perform. Like when they start to sing and dance and do like performances okay. together, that's when it cracks me up. All right. Yeah. And what's one trait you want to pass on to your kids? That they're limitless and they can do whatever they want to do with their lives. And what's something from your childhood that you want to replicate for your daughters? Simplicity. Um, we definitely yeah. need more time. Gal, we need 10 more minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Do you wanna, we have time. Do you wanna go over there? Let's do it. All right. Okay, call me when you need me. Skydiving or scuba diving? Neither. No. I know, no. You are such a scuba dive type. Yeah, I tried that. I get to, yeah, it's not for me. Early bird or night owl? After you? Uh, definitely early bird. Okay, and Batman or Superman? Batman. What would you tell your biggest fan if they met you? Thank you. And what's your favorite part of awards shows? Uh, just being there, seeing everybody, you know, so many creative, talented, brilliant people. Mm -hmm. Is there any director that you're dying to work with? Spielberg. 
<laughs> you hear that, Spielberg? Did you hear it? Did you hear that? You gotta, you gotta say a little louder for him. Steven! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the funniest person you've ever been on set with? Oh my God, I can't answer that. Yeah. I'm lucky. You I've are. had a bunch of people that were really fun to work with. Um, what artists should we all be paying attention to right now? Alma Harel. Prior to acting, what were you doing in life? I studied law. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and what, what, what kind of law did you want to practice? I, uh, I didn't quite figure that out yet, back then, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, you know, life happened. Do you remember your first movie audition? Yes, it was for Bond, for one of the Bond movie, and I didn't get that part. It's their loss. <laughs> it's their loss. Now, you're a champion for women everywhere. What's a mantra you want all women to have for themselves? It's not just for women, it's like, it's everybody. Uh, just love yourself and be kind to yourself. Cheesy, but true. Yeah. And what do you want the film industry to look like for women in a decade? I would love to see more female writers and filmmakers. Right. Why is it so important for you to pick strong characters like Wonder Woman and now Hedy Lamarr? I guess I like strong characters. <laughs> <Yes you> do. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Now, you recently started your own production company. Right. What was the motivation for that? To be able to tell stories that I'm truly, truly passionate about. And what story would you love to see be made into a film? Lisa Howard. Mm. If you don't know about her, and you probably don't, Google. I will Google. Google her. I will Google her. Um, if you could time travel to the past, yes. who's one person that mm -hmm. you would have to speak to? Hedy Lamar. And what would you say to Hedy? I would say, how was on the other side? How are you? All right, gal. Yes. I'm, I don't know how to say heartbroken in Hebrew, but... Shavulev. Shavulev. I am <laughs> Shavulev right now because this is the last question. Question number 73. Yes. Can you please, once and for all, yes. resolve the debate on how to pronounce your last name. I have $10 on, 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 on this with a friend. It's very simple. Gal Gadot. One more time, just for clarity. Gal Gadot. All right, Gal Gadot. This is great, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Mwah.